Hey everybody, we are back for some more Q&A. I know you guys have questions and I obviously have your answers. I really like doing these videos. Um, I like getting feeling like I can help you guys get to know who I am. So if there's something you guys really desperately want to know, make sure you like that comment so that I can they're easier to find for me to be able to answer for these videos. So let's let's just get started. Mr. Bailey's Mom24 asks, what's one good piece of advice that you learned growing up that you could give us ladies? So many things come to mind. I think back to high school and I'm like, oh gosh. I think one thing that's easy for girls and people in high school in general to get involved in is what? Starts with a D, drama, drama. I think if you can learn to avoid that, it would make your life so much easier. Just don't talk badly about somebody, no matter who you trust, and they're like, I won't tell, I will never tell them that you said that. That is a lie, they will tell, everybody always tells. Just enjoy high school, because it, it really, it will go by like that, and then all you can do is look back. So, don't be dramatic, don't get involved in drama, and learn to enjoy where you're at. So the next question is from Wendy Dancer, and they have asked, what life experiences have helped you develop good character? Um, also, how do you stay in such good shape and what do you do slash eat? So first, honestly, it has to be the failures. Even though they're hard to go through, you always learn from them and I feel like the hardest things I've been through in my life have been the most terrible, they, but they've honestly taught me the most. So when you fail at something, don't look at it as a failure, look at it as an opportunity to grow and find room to improve in your life. How do you stay in good shape? I would say that I'm dedicated to my fitness regimen and I think that's that's a big thing. If you can learn to be dedicated and give effort every day to stay healthy or do something healthy in your life, that will make a big impact. Everybody always comes to me like, what do you do to lose weight and how, where do I start? And it's just so funny, you just have to start somewhere. Don't start on a Monday. My thing used to be, I'm gonna start my diet on Monday. It's Thursday, so I have like three more days to be naughty, but on Monday, I'm gonna be good. No, start at that, as soon as you feel that you want to make a change, Make that change right then and there and go for it. Whether it's like committing to just two days a week. That's two more days a week that you're being healthy that you were before. So just start somewhere and anywhere and go with it. Start walking, drink more water, impl implement more vegetables into your life, cut out if you have three cookies at dinner or whatever, maybe only have one. Don't get hard on yourself if you missed a day. Stay positive, move forward. Um, what do I eat, what do I do? When I'm at the gym, I love to run cardio. I like to work up a good sweat. So I usually run for around 30, 40 minutes. Um, if it's too long, I'll like walk for a little bit. Some days I just don't feel like running and so I'll go to the elliptical or I'll just go downstairs and dance. Um, they have like this big open room with mirrors and just find something that you love to do. Maybe go outside, go on a walk, go take a jog outside, go play basketball, whatever you, whatever you like doing that's been physical, do that. Play soccer, jump on the tramp, run around your house, I don't know. Just start somewhere. When I'm trying to be healthy, I try to cut out like ranch, mayo, um, white bread. I only eat like whole grains. I try to eat a lot of vegetables, um, chicken. I like, protein's really important. Protein burns fat and so I like to eat lots of like eggs and egg whites. And I've noticed it helps if you prepare your food and snacks in beforehand so that when you are hungry, you're not gonna wanna be tempted to go through a drive-through. You'll, you'll know you have your meal at home ready for you, so. Preparation, being fit is, it's a, it's a commitment and you have to make it, but I promise it's worth it. Next one, after all that bantering, L33 bad three vermin. Do girls like when a guy will tell them that they love them and they are beautiful in front of everyone? So, whenever you tell a girl something good, she's gonna love it, but I guess it depends on her personality, if she's more outgoing, if she's more shy. Um, find a way to compliment her that won't embarrass her though, like you don't need to get up and announce it you know, maybe quietly if you're taking her on a date, maybe suggest that she looks nice and that you're happy to be with her or something. Just ask. Ask, communication, it's key. Angela one cat, she said, I love the video, dating tips for girls, question mark. Starting this new single life of mine, um, dating for me has been, it, it just gives me anxiety all the time, but something I notice that makes me feel good is if I work out that day, I feel like it kind of relieves kind of some of that built up craziness that you feel like, I don't know if it's butterflies or the worries, but take care of yourself and enjoy them taking you on a date. You deserve it, right? Coco Tallulah, what do you do to your hair? Go to the salon, do you dye it yourself? Are you naturally blonde? Yes, I naturally am this color all the time. No, I mean, I think Cooper's hair is kind of a similar color to what I think my natural hair would look like. I've never dyed my hair anything really darker than this. Maybe I put like some, you guys have seen like the reds or like caramels or browns but I've always been this really blonde, 
blonde. Miss Hey Kaylee, she always does my hair, she always highlights it for me, and she doesn't, if you go to the salon blondes and you get your hair highlighted, don't let your color stylist pull your color from your root all the way to your end because your ends are never gonna change the color that they are, they only change at the root. So if you're pulling your color from your root to your end, you're gonna damage your ends. So last but not least, we have a question from BGS Quiggy. She, he say, said, I know you and your mother are very close. What are your favorite things to do with your mom? Something that we started recently doing together is pedicures. We love going to get pedicures on like a lunch date or I don't see her very much anymore and it's kind of sad, but just catching up on a phone conversation, I'm pretty bad at it. And she's always like, I want to know what's going on in your life. I have to get on your Facebook to know. Like I know mom, I'm sorry. So now that we are away, just like a conversation at night, like a 30 minute recap of my life, I think makes any mom feel good to know that their kids are calling and like sharing what's going on with them that's personal. So, but when we are together, it's like pedicures on a lunch date or a movie or like maybe having a soda and just sitting at home and just sitting on the couch and doing nothing but just being together is like enough for us. So, you guys have questions, I have answers, leave them in the comments below and I will get to them and we will see you next time for more Q&A. Thanks everybody.